I'm Chris Katolka with the Friends of Israel, and this is an eye on the Middle East. The Middle East dynamic has shifted once again with rekindled relations between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Earlier this month, China brokered the deal that reconciled the Sunni and Shiite countries who are at odds after the Saudi embassy was stormed in Iran in 2016. The diplomatic agreement, which eases tensions between the two countries, was reached after four days of talks with senior security officials in Beijing. In a joint statement, both Iran and Saudi Arabia announced they will resume diplomatic relations and open up embassies once again in their respective nations within the next two months. China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, quickly hailed the agreement as a, quote, victory on Friday and said his country would continue to address global issues according to the statements carried by several Chinese newspapers. Saudi Arabia has been slowly adjusting its foreign policy by positioning itself between the two global leaders in the East and West. According to the Jerusalem Post, China, Russia, the US, and potentially Israel are all a part of Riyadh's new positioning of a more complex, independent policy. Here's my take. I'm leery of this rekindled relationship between the Saudis and Iran for two reasons. The first is, what does this mean for Israel? The Saudis and other Arab countries have partnered with Israel over their common enemy, it's Iran. Now that the Saudis and Iran are comfortable with each other after seven years, what does this mean for Israel in the region? The second is China. China is flexing its influence in the Middle East. They want the world to see that they can broker peace too. They also want to address global issues, actions that diminish the United States influence and leadership in the region.